Who was Yitzhak Isaac Halevi? So let's talk a little bit about it. I told you, Jewish history was never a topic, right? Jewish history was something that was relegated. Even Rabbi Shiragon is not a history book. It is a chain of transmission, right? It is a chain of transmission. It is, at best, some kind of a chronology of events. It's a chronology. A chronology, today's scholars talk about it. Can you really construct? But there's no history. There's no process of formation. It doesn't. It's a chronology. Chronology, chain of transmission, more of a chronology than anything else. In the 19th century in Europe came the revival of history, right? Leopold Renke brings history and historiography into the universities. People looking to the scribes and look into their history. And that was a movement that came to the Jewish world. And that was the big beginning of Wissenschaft des Judentums, right? We know that there were scholars involved in academia to work for the history of the Jewish history. But like every history, it was supposed to be a very unbiased history. It was supposed to be history as it was. But as we know, that that's almost impossible. It became a tool of ideology. And a lot of the ideology that came is an ideology of reform. That's how a lot of the people were involved into the reformation of the religion not only as a history to see, okay, how Jewish history came about, but use Jewish history as a platform for change, saying, okay, Jewish law always involved in change. Let's do a change and reform. And the Orthodox were basically, because of that, withdrew even closer away from history. Like Rabbi Shimshel of Hirsch, we say, okay, Jewish life is beyond history, is super historical. It's almost cosmic. There's no rules of history, so he can't even sign. But that was something that was an unattainable situation. As the 19th century evolved, many Jewish works of history of people who understood the Talmud had to start to penetrate to the Ishibot. Isaac Hirsch's, right, Dor Dorvedor Shav made a huge impact. Gretz's history of the Jews, Ishishli Yudin, made that huge impact. So there were works out there of history who did not follow or did not, they would have perhaps an agenda or perhaps did not follow the orthodox agenda. And therefore there was a huge problem. There was a huge desire to create history and Jewish history with a version of orthodox, orthodoxy to it. The orthodox beliefs, which were the traditional beliefs without a Sumerian form. Yitzchak Isaac Halevi was an interesting rabbi, he was a big Tamtacham, was a huge scholar, wrote uh, what learned by the biggest issue got. He learned in um, Zoology. He was close to Abraham Brisker. And he was a businessman. His business went bad, and he decided to devote his life to two things. He became, he decided, okay, he's going, he was a huge scholar. He was going to, as a self didact, he never went to university, but he's going to write Jewish history in with a version, he said, the unbiased version without any quote unquote agenda. But the truth, he had an agenda, apologetic agenda, but the orthodoxy. He's going to do the orthodox version, which is called, came to be like called Chochmat Israel, is the Jewish traditional uh, application of historiography, Jewish history. And he wrote a very important book, and uh, it's called Dorot and Shonim. And he, he started basically with the history of the Talmud, how the Talmud came about. And he has a very, very clear agenda that the Talmud was, there was no never change, was just a preservation of traditions, which is basically the traditional view that was as possible at that time. And he also used this as a platform for his political views, right? He decided that orthodoxy had also to form a political movement, a social political movement that would unite everybody. And he is the, the architect and the visionary and the founder of Agudat Israel. And he used the Talmud as the same thing. So he used Jewish history as part of his apologetic agenda and his political agenda. So he was a very interesting guy, very interesting guy in the aspect that he was very smart, a huge Talmud Chacham, and he was very, he was able to merge politics, apologetics, and Jewish history altogether with Talmudic erudition. And he creates and he forms the image, the collective image that ran the Orthodox community for many, many years. And this is a multi-volume book called the Rotary